King. Welcome to Tug True You Group. We are a worldwide online spiritual church group without the church building, which is great for you because it doesn't matter where in the world you are or what time zone you are in. You can tune into these Sunday services, which I have deliberately made as little bite-sized pieces of music and message. And it is bringing a message of hope and love to the world. So I'm glad you're here. We do have people from all over the world. We've got Australia in the house. We've got New Zealand. We've got Portugal, Denmark, Finland, uh, the UK, Germany, France, and of course, the United States and Canada and Mexico. So I want you to be thinking about people who you know in other parts of the world that might want to hear these services. Today, we're going to talk about finding the good. We've been going through a lot as a world, and especially here in the United States, there's just been a lot going on lately. And it's hard to look for the good sometimes because all we are reminded of is, oh my gosh, everything's bad, everything is bad. But really, it's so important for us to remember that everything is working out. One of my very favorite Bible verses is Romans 8, 28 that says, and we know that all things work together for good for those that love God and are the called according to his purpose. And if you're here with us at Tug, I'm pretty certain that you love God, but you may not have any idea what your purpose is, let alone what God's purpose is for you. You may just be banging around in the dark and you really just don't know. So it's like, well, those are good words, but what do I know? But in Jeremiah 29, 11, God assures us. He said, for I know the plans I have made for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Think about that. Plans to give you hope and a future. And how do we do that? We do that by looking for for the good in all situations. It reminds me of the story about the little boy who is standing beside a big pile of manure and he has got his shovel and he's just shoveling and shoveling and this farmer comes up to him and says, what's, what's going on? What are you doing? He said, well, he said, you know what? I saw that big pile of manure and I know with that much manure there, there's got to be a pony under there somewhere. Now, most of us are not looking for the pony. We are looking for more excrement to show up in our lives. And guess what? That is what shows up in our life. But I decided to put a, po uh, a post on my Facebook page this week. And I said, let's start a thread of all the good stuff that's happened in 2020. Because we're all focused on all the bad stuff, right? And I started off and said, you know, with all of my speaking engagements um, canceled and all of my public appearances this year being canceled, I was forced to think about doing things differently. And that's when the idea of a worldwide online spiritual church group without the church building occurred to me. And I created Tug. And I also have two minutes that can change your life, daily messages, mon Monday through Saturday, and you can tune into those, and then Sunday services. So I'm having a blast, and I hope you are too. People put up all of their good stuff that happened in 2020, and it was astonishing. One person said, I have written and published my first book, and I love that statement. First book, that means there's a lot more books in there for this person. Another guy said that his book about the diary of his dog, which is a spiritual kind of a self-help thing, is taking off. He said, I really do think this is going to take off. And he focused on it because he was out of options. Another person said, I have started an online coaching class and I'm reaching people that I never would have access to before. And another woman who is a friend of mine said, I was able to stay home with my dad as he made his transition. Those are all beautiful things. Someone else said, I learned how to cook this year out of necessity, but I love it. So I want you to be thinking about all the good stuff. We're going to be looking for the good today. So be thinking about the good stuff. 
I think it is so important, as Jeremiah said, plans to give you hope in a future. And I was reminded of the Frank Sinatra song, High Hopes. Now, some of you may remember this song, which is a very cute little song, and others may be too young, but I'm gonna sing just a little bit about uh, this, uh, of this song because I just think it's fun and it, it might give you a little bit of hope too. It says, next time you're down with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. So look around, just what makes that little old ant think he can move a rubber tree plant. Everyone knows that ant can't move a rubber tree plant, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky. Hope so any time you're getting low, instead of letting go, just remember that ant. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Don't you love that? I think that music is so important and it conveys messages. And I actually do have uh, a song here by a real musician, our own musicologist, Cindy Jordan. And she has a whole series of children's songs that she sings in and she has children sing with her and she has produced and just as a little heads up we're putting together with her help an online children's church complete with music and books and coloring books and uh and a, a workshop about walking with jesus which is so fun so i want you to stay tuned for that but right now let's listen to cindy jordan as she and the children sing i can see god's love in everyone also made the light. He sees our goodness even when we're bad. Make the Lord your friend and you'll be glad. I love the purity of children. I love the idea of being able to easily look and see the beauty of the sun and the night sky, to see the clouds and see the clear sky, to see people helping one another. And that is really what it is all about. So how do we actually 
bring into our life the practical application of looking for good in our life. So what I want you to know is at a deep spiritual level, there is no difference between light and love. In fact, it is used interchangeably in the Bible, and it is also used interchangeably in many of our spiritual teachings. So if you are experiencing the shadows in your life, I want to remind you that they have no reality and no substance. They are simply the contrast, and they are simply the absence of light. So how do you dispel the shadows in your life? You bring in more light, which is you bring in more love. You look for things to love and appreciate. You take your eyes off of what seems to be the problem and begin to look for the things that are actually working out well. And there really are always things that are working out well. I also want to remind you that we can choose. It is really where our focus is. We can focus on the shadows, we can focus on the light, but when we focus on the, the light, we automatically feel grateful. We do. We have gratitude. And that gratitude unleashes a torrent, a flood of more things to be grateful for. Think about that. If you just start out being grateful for one or two things, all of a sudden you automatically go into this mode of finding more things to be grateful for. If you're looking for things to, to upset you, believe me, you're going to find those too. But let's just make that little switch and let us look for things to feel gratitude about. And thirdly, I want you to understand that as we change and shift our focus, the universal substance of God. We live in this magical soup of energy and it responds to us powerfully. It brings to us more and more of what we are focused on. It is not punishment. It is not reward. It is working with the substance of the universe. Franz Kafka made a statement that was so breathtaking that they even used it, I think, in the very first Chicken Soup for the Soul book. And I want to read this to you. It's, he said, you do not need to leave your room. Remain sitting at your table and listen. Do not even listen. Simply wait. Be quiet and solitary and still. The world will freely offer itself to you to be unmasked. It has no choice. It will roll in ecstasy at your feet. So my question is this, do you make time for solitude and stillness in your day? Because if you don't, you're going to find it that the world is not kind to you. It's hard if you are only focused on all the things that seem to be the problems. You know I am all about practical application. You know, it's like, oh, these are all great words, but how do I put it into action? And I invite you to imagine if today were your only day on earth, not your first day, and certainly not your last day, because that has all kinds of stuff in it. But just imagine you were plopped down in your bed this morning before you woke up and this is your only day on earth in this magical creative substance earth. And you wake up and you look around and you have your coffee or your tea or your water, or whatever you do, and you take your shower and you get dressed and you luxuriate in whatever the clothes are like. And you can hear the birds outside and you can see the sunshine and everything is magical and you eat your toast or whatever it is and then you go outside and you walk around and you inhabit this body and you feel the sun and the wind and and or rain or whatever it is doing outside but today is your only day to experience this and you get in your car 
and you love, oh my gosh, I'm in charge. I can drive somewhere. And you look around and you see everything that's going on in the world and you don't even worry about who's doing what because this is your only day to experience all this magic. And I'll bet you wouldn't even get upset if there were traffic because you'd be looking to all the vehicles and the people and seeing what's going on. And you go into a store and you just are amazed. Look at all this stuff. Look at all these smells and sounds and lights and pretty colors. And I can buy something. I can pick something out. And I can stand in line and look at all these people. I'm not even upset about it. And I can walk out of the store with what I want. Now, can you see how that can change things? Well, the truth is, today is your only day on earth. This is it. This is it. Because yesterday is past. Tomorrow hasn't happened. And so you get to choose. You get to look for the good in all things. I'm asking you, if you find value in this, share this with everyone you know, with your friends and your family and your co-works, because we never know who might be in need of a little bit of encouragement, who might not have thought about looking for the good, who may not have even any clue that things really are working out in a magnificent and magical way, because they are. And it's only going to get better. I also want to know if you are finding value in this, please email us at true you, that's with a you, group at gmail.com. I would love to hear what your experiences are. I would love to get some feedback from you. Also, if you would like to support this channel and see us grow so that you don't have to always watch me, we can bring in other speakers and we can bring in more music. And as I said, Cindy Jordan is putting together, she has a tremendous children's program that we're working on getting up and, and, and letting it so that you can share with your kids and your grandkids and your nieces and your nephews. And we are also putting together book studies. So if you would like to support this channel, there's two different ways to do it. You can hit the donate button and donate any amount. And we also have Patreon set up and you can do this on a monthly basis. It is a monthly donation of any sort and it's patreon.com forward slash true you group. Now I am looking for the good today. I know I will only see the good today because that is all I'm going to allow in my life. And the good that I see now is everyone who is sharing and tuning in and adding your energy. Just by you listening, just by you laughing or singing along, all of this goes into the matrix. All of this goes into the magical soup of energy and love and helps lift us all up. I love you. I bless you. I behold the Christ in each and every one. And I thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you here next Sunday again. Thanks so much.